We make jokes about everyone gives their pound of flesh. Right? <laughs> wow. But We're here today at Maharma's Health Centers, and my name's Rebecca Deschner, and we're going to be doing biofeedback on Old Man. He's a parrot rescue um, that's here at the World Parrot Refuge. So we're donating a session today to him. He's been to a veterinarian, and the veterinarian couldn't find out anything that's wrong with him. Discover what's going on. I'm going to be doing a session with him using medicines from around the globe, Western and Eastern, to find the root causes to things like this when we go to mainstream medicine or other natural medicine doctors. And we can't quite figure out what is going on with a bird or a person. Do they talk these this time? Oh, of yes, these birds are good talkers. Okay. He doesn't seem to, I haven't heard him say much. So that's okay. another thing, right? But, Oh, so he's quite silent. Yeah, he has his little groans and his little grunts, yeah. but... Oh. This is how the old man should look. So, a little on the plump side, very healthy looking. Are there any other peculiar things that he's doing? Well, he's not social at all. It's not social. And usually they're quite an avid social. Oh, one. They're, if they're not teasing someone, they're okay. uh, trying to make a friend somewhere. Oh. This old man is not obese. Not at all. And normally he should be around and getting with the other birds, but he sleeps all day long. All, all day, day long. long. So that is not normal. We're doing a scan. It scans every single cell in the entire body, including our DNA and our subconscious mind. Um, so what we're going to do with this is have you hold this somehow close, this part's really important, close to his body. And then we'll go into animal testing. So we're using the human um, scanner for this parrot. I'm in the development stages of making an animal one. And we'll go into calibration. This is where the device actually puts in frequencies of say, for example, a healthy liver and tests old man to see if his liver's healthy. We'll do this with every single cell and every single organ in the body. The body will then take that signature and the natural pharmacy will kick in to start healing yeah. the liver. And our liver heals within seven years, we get a whole new liver, every single cell changes. Oh. Um, what I do with this is I become a detective. These machines come out of Europe. So this is what we call the main matrix. So these are 9,000 different remedies from around the world. What this machine does is it color coats all the remedies for what old man has tested for. Color code in red are the things that he's extremely reacting to, a very acute right for this moment in this test. So I'm just going to look through all these remedies and try to find some themes. That's how I usually do sessions on animals and humans. A heart liver issue. So there is livers. Okay, something for heart. So okay. you might want to check with the veterinarian and see what their okay is on that. Because um, of course those substances can be toxic sometimes exactly. in an animal. You just yes. never know. So. Corn allergy. There's a corn allergy going oh. on with him. Yeah. So, and okay. our, a lot of our corns have been geneticized. Yes. So they're synthetic. They're not assimilable by the stomach. The, the body doesn't know what to do with them because they're oh, synthetic. Okay. They're like a pharmaceutical drug now. Wild animals are always more sensitive than any sort of domesticated animal and will react strongly to synthetics or chemicals um, more so than a domestic, which will hide a lot of the symptoms. Pet clients that veterinarians can't quite figure out what's going on with them, yes. and they'll be giving them drugs that maybe they shouldn't have, and a lot of disastrous things can happen. Oh yes, we've had birds in here on antipsychotic drugs before. Wow. Oh yes, we have birds in down. Uh, addicted to cocaine. Wow. When you're abandoned and you get emotional issue, it always translates into something physical and it usually always does affect the hormone systems, especially the glands. Well, that's why he's got no interest in anything. Yeah. He's probably sleeping all day. Yeah. His testosterone is He's a uh, Viagra. No. <laughs> he's a Viagra. <laughs> Some parent Viagra. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> A lot of times with chronic pain, there's stuff stored in the nervous system mm -hmm. from chemicals and it causes the neurotransmitters to misfire. Mm -hmm. And that creates a lot of pain and havoc within the whole system. And then we see things like the immune system breaking down, the thyroid system, and it goes This is exactly what's happening. He's hyperthyroid. Hyperthyroid. Now, if you're hyperthyroid, your thyroid's overactive and it can make you have some anxiety and, and he's having nervous system overload and getting a lot of pain. What slows it down is dairy. He's got his cheese, that's good. Hey, is that your food, Kira? 
<laughs> um, when someone's got hypothyroid, the opposite, we take them completely off of dairy because it slows down the thyroid and you want to speed it up. So everything's about balance. Coping me mechanism when there's trauma and what it does is it separates the self from the self. So there's things hidden in the subconscious mind. It covers up things that are very traumatic and then there's a split personality that ends up occurring. Um, so it's very good we're doing this session on him today because we're dealing with our subconscious mind. Trauma release program, it's one of my favorite programs. It's testing for all the traumas that may have occurred in his life, in his subconscious mind. I mean, that's a coping mechanism. So if there's no reason for coping, then we can catalyze that personality to come back together. Oh, okay. And the trauma's to release out of there, and then there's hope. And he's doing quite content in here. Yes. Hey, okay. enjoying all the attention. Oh, he hasn't had that much attention. All the love. And I've got a nice sweet little bird. Hello. <laughs> My assistant. And one love. Hello, Jackson. Come on. Come on. Yeah. We're connected to nature and they're really here to teach us things. They just are little healers and it's our little teachers. Be so arrogant. Well, yeah, the <laughs> ego is, is an issue for humans and that the animals don't have. Completely truthful no matter what. The adventure of this system did was put love frequency every time you get an accident. So it encourages the body to you heal accept. itself. Yeah. Exactly. So that means you're a happy guy now. That was our session. Nice. Yeah, so it's been nice. awesome nice. working with you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice to have you. Yeah. Okay, we're back here at the Parrot Rescue and we're, we're seeing how Old Man is doing. Like the session that I did on him last time. So how's he doing, Stephanie? He's doing wonderfully. As you can see, he's hey. got way more to say. Yeah, he's a lot more bit, feisty. Yeah, he's got attitude, but yet yeah, he's not mean. Okay, he's, he's just good. boisterous. Yeah, okay. He's feeling way better, I think. He's eating better. Okay, perfect. See? Oh, he's got lots to say. <laughs> I find that he's much more interacting when I take him out. Okay. Before he would just sit there. He would just sit there and no interaction. And now he wants to move around okay. and he wants to get out of the towel and he's got some oh, kind yeah. of action. So he's, oh yeah. So he's, he's got more life than he Yes. He feels like he has a life now. Yeah. His eyes. Oh, his eyes are brighter. Brighter. He oh, much brighter. That? Yeah. It's like he's interested in oh, his great. world. So we could do well with another session. I think that. so too. Thank you. Yeah, hey, old man, you say thank you. Mm. <laughs>